Babies are susceptible to many diseases, and the management to decrease complications and mortality should start just after birth. So, in this video, I will talk about immediate management of the preterm newborn just after birth, especially regarding shock management, monitoring, and echocardiography. So, first, the basics. How do we define preterm babies? Those who are born before 37th weeks of gestational age is um, all preterm babies. In pediatrics, those babies are categorized by weight. So the normal range of weight for a newborn is between 2.5 kilogram to 3.5 kilogram, as you guys all know. But if the weight, uh, if the baby is below 2.5 kilogram, then the baby is low birth weight infant. And if the baby weighs below 1.5 kilogram, then the baby is very low birth, birth weight infant. And if the baby weighs less than 1 kilogram, then the baby is extremely low birth weight infant. And it is called EWBWI. V, L, B, W, I, and so on. Okay, so since we are going to talk about cardiovascular support, we need to talk about resuscitation, and then we need to first talk about shock. So the causes of shock in newborn include prematurity, and early onset sepsis, asphyxia, um, myocardial dysfunction, and hypovolemia, and so on. Regardless of causes of shock, if the newborn shows circulatory collapse, um, resuscitation may be started. So to monitor if resuscitation is effective, then heart rate is the first parameter to be checked. To check heart rate, auscultation of the left chest is an available option, but NRP uh, 2015 recommends free lead ECG for accurate measurement of heart rate. So after initial success of resuscitation, Blood pressure may be monitored as an indicator of neonatal circulatory status. However, according to some studies, systemic perfusion had poor relationship with blood pressure. So, systemic perfusion had poor relationship with blood pressure. Therefore, as it turns out, Infants with reduced systemic perfusion tended to show normal or higher blood pressure. Therefore, the alternative is lactate in blood gas analysis. Lactate is a biomarker in diagnosing and assessing the hypoperfusion and shock. Aside from biomarker, Bedside functional echocardiography may be done to find out the cause of shock and help manage neonatal shock. Through functional echocardiography, the function of circulatory system may be accurately measured. The best available method of monitoring central perfusion is by assessing SVC by echocardiography. Also, blood flow through SVC is known to be related with cerebral perfusion as well. Echocardiography is also useful in diagnosing PPHN, that is persistent pulmonary hypertension. When newborns show signs of PPHN, that is labile saturations, hypoxemia, high FiO2 requirement, predominant tachypnea or PaO2 difference between right upper limb and lower limb, around 5 to 10 millimeter Hg, then echocardiography may show PDA or PFO, persistent foramen ovale or tricuspid regurgitation, TR. 
in case um, drug administration is needed during resuscitation or volume replacement is needed, then umbilical venous catheter UVC may be inserted. During resuscitation, epinephrine is given if the newborn's heart rate is continuously below 60 under these conditions like after 30 seconds of PPV that inflates the lungs and after another another 60 seconds of chest compressions coordinated with PPV using 100% oxygen. And if the newborn shows signs of hypervolemic shock, volume replacement is needed and transfusion um, or volume expander infusion may be done through this UVC. So, UVC, uh, um, if venous access is needed, UVC is the most available option. Low birth weight infant, especially ELBWI, extremely low birth weight infant and very low birth weight infant are more prone to develop IVH and indomethacin have been administered as a sort of trial to reduce IVH intraventricular hemorrhage. And the result is indomethacin does help reduce the necessity of PDA surgery or PDA high grade IVH and pulmonary hemorrhage. However, there was no reduction in the incidence of death or neurodevelopmental abnormalities. Therefore, in the medicine, as um, routine prophylaxis is not recommended. Thank you. This is the end of preterm babies series. Yay! And my episodes regarding preterm babies are based on uh, paper written by Deepak Sharma, uh, Golden Hour of Neonatal Life, Need of the Hour. So if you're interested, please look out for this article and this will help you more than my video. See you in my next video. Thank you.